way we receive our electricity hasn't changed much in the last hundred years. A coal, nuclear, or hydropower plant sends electricity through transmission lines to substations and on to transformers. Finer and finer wires and smaller voltages until the electricity reaches your laptop or iPhone plugged into the wall. It's just-in-time manufacturing taken to the extreme. Since electricity travels close to the speed of light, every kilowatt must be used the instant it's created. For utilities, this means balancing a heavy load, trying to match the supply of electricity perfectly and nearly instantly with demand. When demand outpaces supply, everything goes dark, a blackout. Hence the need for spinning reserves, backup power plants that pump electricity into the system at a moment's notice. Keeping these plants online is the most expensive part of your power bill and wastes fuels like natural gas. But since the 1980s, the power grid has been getting smarter. Utilities began putting sensors in places that use a lot of electricity, like factories. These sensors send back real-time data about energy use, giving utilities a heads up on the demand side of the equation. As sensors become cheaper and cheaper, and technologies like the internet and wireless communication become widespread, utilities are adding more and more sophisticated sensors to the grid. And this means one thing, more information. This flood of data will be quickly parsed to locate power failures, reroute electricity, or avoid overheating power lines. That means utility companies can stop relying on grandma to let them know the power's out. It also means they can better deal with power line failures like the one that blacked out the northeastern U.S. in 2003. Within the next decade, sensors are likely to be everywhere. One type, commonly known as a smart meter, will do to homeowners what the utilities have long done to factories. Two-way communication will give both utilities and customers better information about who's using what and when. It could even let utilities do things like temporarily turn off a smart appliance in your home to help avert a blackout. And that means utilities can cut down on backup power plants and also use less reliable but cleaner electricity sources, like wind turbines or solar cells. In a world where energy needs to be cleaner, that just seems smart.